What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And one of the biggest things that a lot of you guys have been having issues with that I also have had issues with is the power of passes and who we should use them on. Now, this is very, like, you know, I don't really want to rush into it, but the one thing that I'll tell you is with the release of all these newer players, it's getting, like, very, very, like, you get real, real edgy and on the edge of your seat trying to figure out exactly what you want to do to your players, right? So let me just give you guys an example. Jalen Ramsey is probably a card that I'm going to want, right? And um, the uh, power-up pass that I'm talking about is the 88 to 89. So I can use it for any 88 to 89 player, right? The tier 4, 88 to 89. This is the issue. I can actually use it for OBJ's diamond card. You see, that's the thing. I can use it for OBJ's diamond card. And then other than that, I would only have to buy his elite. The problem is I don't want to put everything into... You know, I don't want to put it into a wide receiver like that. And a lot of you guys have been asking me questions about, yo, Jemaya, you know, is this card better? Is that card better? I'm always going to tell you it's how they play for you. Because OBJ can come out one game and catch everything, and the next game he drops everything. That's what's been starting to happen. I don't know um, since the beginning of the, um, the game what they've kind of changed up, but it was consistent prior to the first patch. Now, like certain games you come into, like I just said, Things go like the opposite of what it was the game before. So I don't know. But the interesting thing about it is this, right? When you look at OBJ, when you power him up, right, and you get him to that level, how long do you think he's going to last? He just got a huge contract in the NFL. Shout out to him, man. He definitely deserves it, in my opinion. I think he's one of the most electric wide receivers in the league. Um, do I think it's going to change his behavior? Probably not. Uh, it's something that I would want to see happen, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see him doing like the dog, you know, the dog peeing celebrations and stuff like that. You know why? It, it's simple. This is what happens, right? I want him to make as much money as he possibly can. And in doing so in this life, you got to make certain decisions. And you can't do that in the position that he's in because he's a, he's a superstar. He's a rock star right now. And he's just going to have to tone it down a little bit. That doesn't mean you can't have fun. That just means that you can't cock your leg up like that and do ridiculous stuff. That's all it means. So I can't really trust this guy. Is he going to have a breakout game? It's possible. You know what I'm saying? Like, but 89 speed, you know what I'm saying? For me to go ahead and to go and, and put this 89 speed, you know what I'm saying? Like the 89 card, my power up into the set. I don't really like that, bro. Because I don't know as far as his upgrade status goes, is he going to be a card that I'm going to want to really, you know, keep on my roster for the entire year? Because right now he's only a slot receiver. Keep in mind, I feel more comfortable with Tyreek Hill getting upgrades than I do OBJ because I think Tyreek Hill has a little bit more to prove. He's not on that OBJ like status yet. So he's still grinding towards that. So I think that we're going to get a lot more out of him than we will out of OBJ, which is why he's sitting there like the starter just chilling because to me, it's all about who stays hungry. And a lot of these athletes, other than LeBron James and a few other players, I don't really see dudes putting in the work that's going to help benefit, you know, benefit us, whether you play NBA 2K, whatever you do, whatever kind of, you know, game you're playing and you're doing fantasy, whatever, even if you're doing regular fantasy football, you got to gauge mutt like that. And that's one of the reasons I've been very, very successful, regardless of how much, uh, you know, my team is worth and like their overall, because I pick specific players when I'm dealing with it. OK, so these are not legends. These are guys that are growing to the legend status. So OBJ could easily be done because he has an 89 um he has that 89 overall uh, diamond player. Now, we can go over and look at some of the diamonds that are there right now and try to figure it out. But this is a very, very difficult thing because the only one that I want is, is this guy. You know, Look, th this is the thing, right? Regardless of what happens, like I can put – I can't put um, – I can't put this one. I could use the other Jalen Ramsey, um, uh, you know, the power-up pass in his actual set to get him up before I have to put him into uh, this uh, power-up set. Uh, well, not the power, but the diamond set. And that's the issue because his card is not going any lower than the four or whatever it is. So yesterday he was down like to like, what was he at? I think he was like, uh, like 429 was his lowest yesterday, right? People understand like he, he'll get mossed though. Let me just say that because I've mossed them. I've played against them. You see, people are buying him very, very hefty in the prices, even though I just showed you that um, and we just got in there. You see the price that he's going for? He's a very, very hot ticket, okay? And the reasoning behind it is because He's an all-around great corner, and with all the trash that he's talking currently, I think he's going to be even better. I think he's going to be scary better this year. And like I said, if you guys keep asking, like, yo, bro, you know, what's your team? I don't have a team. I watch the game because I enjoy it, and it makes my life a lot easier not having to root for a team. 
Okay, I just enjoy football. So I can break down any one of your teams and just be brutally honest, which you will be getting during the year on G Myers World Podcast. Just search it on YouTube or just go type it in. I'm also available on iTunes, Android, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. G Myers World Podcast on YouTube right here. Definitely subscribe because I'll be doing weekly uh, podcast recaps for you know during the um, the season. And it gets very, very interesting because a lot of you guys can't deal with the truth about your team. But that's not my problem. Okay, I'm going to call it how I see it. So when you look at these players, like I can do, the, I could do uh, this guy's diamond. You know what I'm saying? As a uh, power up pass, but bro, why would I do that with Matthew Stafford when I got Mike Vick? And then you start going through the 89s or the or the 88s, and then you start to see exactly what's going on. Like this guy is pretty good. I got Sean Taylor. Like bro, I, I have no. Re- and don't get me wrong, this dude is probably the most dominant player in Mutt right now. Like if you go, when you go into Mutt drafts. A lot of people draft this guy, and they just man him up, and he just locks up your whole team by itself, by himself. Like, he literally locks up the other 10 guys in addition to the guy he's covering. And, like, I, I don't know how he does it. He's really, really good. Is he good for my team? No. If he works for your team, you don't got to ask me, bro. The dude is a good card. I tell you guys this. I'm not saying that these other cards suck. You know what I'm saying? Like, Geno Atkins, I didn't use him. I'm not really worried about him. But, you know, this guy, like, I don't use a lot of the players – but I can tell you, based on the players that I have, if they're going to be decent players, because it, the game pretty much plays the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, these players are going to play just, you know, it's going to be very, very similar. You could use it on this guy. I don't think he's worth it. You know what I'm saying? It, it doesn't make any sense to rush it. And remember, keep in mind, guys, when they increase the mutt level, more than likely the power-up pass, that level is going to increase also. Keep that in mind. Because, because a lot of you guys are not realizing that that that's a very, very easy way for you to be able to, um, you know, get future upgrades. So don't forget that, guys, because EA Sports more than likely made it go up to the 88, 89 because of, you know, the way that it was set up with the way that the mutt levels were and how they started off with our Ricky Williams. But I would be very, very careful because a lot of you guys that are spending, yeah, you're going to have to wait a couple months or whatever like that, but every price is going to go down. And you're going to have a much reasonable rate. That's just more for the grinders. Because for the most part, I have everybody that I want. Ladder Daddy's doing his job. Jair, Jair Alexander's doing his job. I don't really have a lot of issues. Okay? But I'm also not going to rush into wasting that pass. You know, I, I'm just not going to do that. That's not going to happen. Because OBJ would be an easy, you know, oh, yeah, bro, let me get to OBJ. But why, though? You see what I'm saying? Is he going to be faster? Say, say I put... um you know, 50 giant players on a given plus three speed. He's going to be a 93 speed, okay? Now, Tyreek Hill is already a 92. So why wouldn't I put plus three speed on him and make him a 95? You see, it's so many different ways you could go about it. And these are the things that I have to evaluate before I suggest to you guys. Because I'm not just going to tell you BS. That's not what I do. Before I tell you BS, I won't answer the question. Just put it like that. That's why you guys choose to watch my videos. I don't have time to lie to you. Oh, bro, or just make up a story because I'm trying to make you guys watch my video. If I feel that something is relevant to a player, I'm going to say, yo, this player, he has this. This player, he has this. It's up to you guys to choose whether it works or it doesn't. You see what I'm saying? But if it works for me, I'm going all out for it. That's pretty much where I am with it. You know, like, who who's going to use it on the right guard? Like, you see what I'm saying, guys? Like, we, got, we already got Zach Martin, so there's no need for us to do that. But I'm just saying, in general, why would you do that? Because you should be able... Just understand this, right? There are certain players that are already set that you know are going to get better. The Dallas Cowboy O-line, I understand that all of them are like banged up a little bit. They're hurt, whatever. I think they're going to be ready to go when the year starts. You know, except for the center, except for Travis Frederick, because he has that autoimmune disease. We don't know how that's going to work, but I'm going to ride out with him. Because it's not, look, he's still a great center in the game. The center that I don't like is Mack, any of them. The dude from Atlanta, last year he was really good. He absolutely sucks this year. I want nothing to do with him. This card right here also, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, Melvin Gordon is way better than that card, by the way. Um, Jadavian Clowney, um, these guys are like a little bit higher overall. Um, And also with Xavier Rhodes. Xavier Rhodes could be a good complement uh, corner if you can't get to Jalen Ramsey, but he's also pretty good. And what a lot of people are doing is they're getting him and they're getting the other guy, but you'll see that his price is a lot lower. Why? Because he's slower than Jalen Ramsey and he's not, in my opinion, he's a good corner, but he's not Jalen Ramsey good. Okay. But when you look at his card, you know, he's 6'1", Ramsey 6'2", like it's similar, but, but that lower speed, that, that really hurts him. 
So that's why you'll notice that his prices are a little bit lower. And these are the type of things that I have to evaluate because if I rush into it, because my original plan, I was going to get that Jalen Ramsey and I was going to power him up and I was going to do all that stuff, right? Now the way I'm thinking about it, it's like, all right, you can go ahead and you can spend like whatever his team diamond is worth, like 800K. That's the other option that I have. I could spend the 800K and be an idiot. And then they release another corner that is going to be a legend that I'm going to want. You see what I'm saying, guys? Like, you just don't want to overspend. If I get lucky and somehow I come into a guy that puts him up for cheap or I'm able to get a snipe or I pull him in a pack, that's deep. That's a different story. That's something that you got to understand that it's not it, – more than likely it won't happen. Just put it like that. More than likely it won't happen. But if I'm able to get it, like he's almost a million coins. I don't think he's worth a million coins. Why don't I think that? Because the game since the patch, dudes are getting mossed more than ever. And if he got mossed, I don't know what I would do with my hands, bro. Like, I'd probably start slapping myself. Like, I don't know what would be going on, but I would be very, very upset. So that's why I'm, I didn't splurge on trying to get him because he was actually 745 like a week ago. He was like 745. And I could have definitely took care of it. It would have been no problem. And, it would you know, it would have been whatever. But again, I didn't do it because of that reason. Keep in mind with the way that EA is releasing these legends, sooner or later, we're going to get a sick legend card. Okay? So if you can manage with your team and, you know, try to evaluate it and see exactly what you're trying to build, the only way that I would continue to go on with that is if I somehow pulled uh, Jalen Ramsey Elite card. That, that's probably the only way. Because that situation is really, really bad. The overall situation is really, really bad. And I don't want to put myself in a situation where, you know, maybe maybe there's another player that's going to have a core elite. Because remember, the legends, this doesn't apply to. These are current players that are playing. So if I can use that pass for somebody else, like, say, a Berry, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, you got to think about that kind of stuff. You, you can't just start rushing into it. And Ladder Daddy's playing fine. Jair Alexander, he's playing fine. AJ Boye is a trash can. But remember... He's part of that diamond set. So that's a lot of coins that I saved with that net. So I just, you know what it is, guys? I'm going to be patient with my power up. I suggest that a lot of you guys do the same. And if, unless there's something that you want to pounce on right now, I would just hold off. Because the more that I think about it, there's going to be so many other ways and so many other options to get your team better. And you don't want to rush and use that on a player that is so expensive and that's going to continue to break the bank. I hope that this helps someone else out and you understand more about power-ups because pretty much at this point, if you've gone through all my playlists, it should be pretty simple to you, but I'm going to break it down and make you understand really quickly again before I get off. You get several power-ups throughout the time that you upgrade your mutt level. You saw that when I went to the OBJ, it showed that I had a Team Diamond OBJ in the upgrade, but I really don't have him. It's because that his card has an 89 value. So whatever card has an 83 to 85, whatever like that, you can put these power-up passes in place of it. I hope this has been informative. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section. Let's be polite to each other. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.